What up, folks? I'm Ultrazilla, and this is the Ultra Z News. We got plenty of news, a lot of Tamashi, some Marvel Legends stuff, some NECA, and some other assorted things. But I'm going to start with the news that is biggest for me right now, and that is the Mezco 112 Collective Ultraman, the original Ultraman, has gone up for pre-order today. I've talked about this before on the news, so it's not breaking, breaking news. But it is up for pre-order, and now we know, like, all the accoutrements it comes with. And it is a rather exciting, guys. As you can see here, right off the bat, you get, obviously, Ultraman in a 112 scale, clothed. Uh, his eyes light up, his uh, color timer lights up, it comes with uh, Jet VTOL, it comes uh, with two interchangeable heads, uh, one of them is basically an effect part, <laughs> um, uh, which is cool, and then you get three other effect parts uh, on top of that, with the Ultra Slash, and then the Ultra Attack Ray. <laughs> And then uh, the Specium Beam with an extra hand. Besides that hand, you get 12 interchangeable hands all together. But not only that, you get some breakaway buildings and you get the Brothers Mantle. That is insane, guys. Look at all of this stuff in action, man. This is phenomenal. Now, this is going to be $105. Uh, and you can get it wherever you want. There's a lot of places. I suggest uh, our buddies at Kaiju Live because they have free shipping in the U.S. on this. So go ahead and do that. But this looks awesome, guys. Really, really cool. Look at the chest timer, like, lit up and the eyes. I just love how that looks. It is phenomenal. Um, honestly, this is so cool with the Jet Vitol in his hand. That looks so cool. I just like, these are great shots too, gotta say. Really great, great shots. Uh, and now it says here on this one, Kaiju not included. Now, if you notice, there is some Kaiju here, like Red King here. Um, and uh, it is it will be interesting to see. And I think these are just shots from the show or some other mocked up thing, but can Mezco possibly do some Kaiju for us? That would be amazing. It has Alien Bolt on in this. Um, that would be really cool. We yet to see what they could do with the license, but so far, so good. Ultraman and Red King set in the five points, and now the 112 Collective finally announced, finally up for pre-order. Go ahead, go order this, because this is a lot of stuff for 105 bucks. There's no doubt about it. You know, and if you've never handled a Mezco, you know, take my word for it. It is quality stuff. Very quality. So uh, this is awesome. In my opinion, this is amazing. So yeah, here's the stuff once again. Beautiful looking. I suggest you jump on board on this because it, this is going to be one of the awesome releases uh, in the next 12 months um, for sure. For sure. Another release that is going to be very interesting to me. This is the Evolution Toy Hero Action Figure uh, Aka Ranger from uh, Go Ranger, which is like the first Super Sentai. Well, let's kind of shoehorn in later, but it is the first. This is where it's all started. And Aka Ranger is the Red Ranger from Go Ranger. And um, this is awesome. This is a Hero Action Figure from Evolution Toy. We know we got like, so we've had some problems with them, you know, uh, here at Ultrazilla Toys, but. You know what? The last one I reviewed was on my tops of last year with Metalder. And uh, I am going to get the initial fighter, Gridman, um, before this. So uh, this is something that I'm very interested in. It really looks nice, I got to say. Um, I, I mean, I want this company to do better action figures because they're producing so many cool tokusatu, you know, figures. This looks great. I mean, it really does. Um, so I'm excited about this. And it looks like they're going to be doing the entire team. Now, I won't be getting the entire team because they're a little pricey. 
Uh, but Aka Ranger uh, is very iconic, and it would be the the one for me to get out of this just for representation. I think a lot of people feel the same way. Um, now, this is not a Japanese property, but it's homaging a Japanese property. Mattel Creations is doing a Skeletor in the Shogun Warrior style <laughs> in a new line called Shogun Master. So I'm pretty excited to see what they could possibly do with this line going uh, down the line. But this is a Skeletor mech, as they're calling it, and it looks awesome. Jobo, jumbo <laughs> robo, robot scale, the launching flying fists, and all kinds of other stuff. Um, here it is with some classic Shogun Warriors. Uh, and, you know, that looks awesome. I got to say, that looks awesome. I'm hearing it's going to be about 300 bucks. I think I'm out, uh, to tell you the truth, uh, for that price, but... It looks awesome. I, I gotta say, you know, like, I hope a lot of people do order this because I'd be curious to see what else they could put in this line going forward. So, and it, uh, they will be having t-shirts available too, apparently. So, some cool stuff there. Some cool stuff. Hey, SH Monster Arts News. How about that? Surprised I didn't do a breaking news of this, but I haven't been really set up for breaking news uh, right now. I hope to get back to it. As you can see, I'm in the, uh, you know, I'm in my studio right now, but I literally brought down my computer again from my apartment just to do this news. And then I'm bringing it back up because I'm, you know, I need to get this place cleaned up. But anywho, SH Monster Arts, Gigan is being reissued and it is indeed a reissue, but it's coming with a lot of stuff. Um, and it looks like the paint is tweaked a little bit sharper looking. This is one of the new effect parts, um, the beam, you know, I don't know what they're called, what they call this beam, but you know, the beam where like turns into a lot of little beams and fires out. Very cool. I really like it. There's going to be also the chains, uh, with the, uh, at the ends of the hooks, which is cool. And now this is an interesting thing, a little bit of a tease here for possibly final Goji. Guy again is obviously attached to something. Who else would he be attached to? Right. And there's a reason why this is coming out just like the biolanti recently there's a reason why they're reissuing this now um you don't do that and then they haven't been doing that lately so at the time of this recording it hasn't been announced i was kind of waiting because i felt like it was going to come but right now guy again this is a web shop exclusive in japan we have not heard anything yet whether it's going to be uh released in the u.s but this uh, goes up on the web shop tomorrow. So do, you know, make that, you know, see if you can make your decision. It's about 150 bucks. It is a little pricey, but it does come with more effects. And um, it looks really nice. It looks more metallic, I think. Uh, I think if Bluefin brings this over, I'm in. Otherwise, I'm out because my eyes are on other. This looks really good. Look how long those things are. Uh, my eyes are on uh, some other amazing properties coming out from uh, Tamashi. This is something I'm probably not going to be able to get because these are impossible to get. This is the VF1J armored uh, Valkyrie here from Macross and Robotech Macross. And um, although, you know, the uh, Harmony Gold issue looks like it's being solved and uh and with big west and um maybe bluefin will bring this over if bluefin brings this over i'm gonna get it otherwise it's probably gonna be impossible to get uh i would like to try for it but i'm not holding my breath um this looks amazing though guys i've wanted a vf1j for a long time this is in the dx chogokin line uh man and this looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't, one, I don't have a VF1J. Well, I had a small toy Nami that I don't like. Um, but this is amazing. You know, I really want this. I re really want this set. We'll see if it can happen. I don't know if it can happen. But boy, is it gorgeous, guys. Uh, so that's one thing. As you saw, it has the uh, perfect hands, which looks amazing. The big fist hands right there. Um, this is going to be about 300 bucks, So a little bit pricey. But wow, 
Uh, really, really wow. This is you know, something I'll probably be able to get. This is the GX97 from Solo Chogokin. GX97 is not Getter Arc. So a lot of people who were like jumping on my case about, you know, my report on a Getter Arc recently uh, and that numbering could see that it wasn't the very next thing. So this is the Dalion from Juspian, Space Beast Investigator Juspian. Um, I love this show. This is an amazing mech. It transforms from a big battleship into the mech. Uh, and I love when it does that in the show. It is so awesome. And uh, I really like how this looks. I've liked how this looked since the last Big Tamashi show last fall. And um, I'm glad it's coming. This might be a web shop exclusive too. I haven't found it's That's rumored right now. But I haven't found anything uh, official on that. I hope it isn't because this is something I would love to order from Muteki Sales. Um, because either way, this is something I really, really want. And that's what I'm saying with the Geigen money. I'd rather have this because this is something I don't have in my collection. I do have the first Geigen. I don't really need the effects parts. I will get it if Bluefin come, brings it over though. Otherwise, my money goes to this. Uh, but I will get them both. I'll get all three of these, and they're all pricey. But <laughs> uh, but this looks gorgeous. It comes with a mini Juspian figure, as you can see right there. And uh, I am very, very, very much into this. So super cool. I really like that sword a lot. It is very nice. A lot, a lot to look at here. All right, the last thing from Tamash I'm going to quickly talk about is the, and I don't have good picks apparently, uh, the SH Fig U Art John Walker from Captain, um, no, from Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh, spoilers. Oh, my God. Uh, and there is a spoiler image uh, out there from a DST product that I'm not talking about, and I didn't post it anywhere. So be on the lookout. Be forewarned. Uh, there is a spoiler image of probably the next episode, this week's episode, uh, which is tomorrow. So be careful out there. I should have waited for that, but I really wanted to put out this news. There's a lot of stuff. This, this John Walker figure does look pretty good. The likeness isn't bad to Wyatt Russell. So there you go. It is a web shop exclusive as well. I don't know if Bluefin is bringing this over. But if you are into Marvel stuff and uh, from figure arts, you got to get it. All right. Speaking of stuff you will be able to get here, the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Man, the teaser trailer for this or reg regular trailer looks incredible if you haven't seen it go watch it after this it is awesome so we got some marvel legends announcements there were some other figures as well that marvel's putting out more basic stuff i don't really deal with that stuff so this is what i will talk about there's a shang chi and he looks pretty good i gotta say all of these likenesses and i'm gonna show you i think look rather decent uh so that is a nice looking figure i really like his outfit i really do it looks really cool this is the death dealer who looks awesome i mean that is bad you know like that looks amazing i love 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 this very very cool you got marvel skating <laughs> i guess i had to put marvel there with uh with that strange beast i don't know what that is but looking cool very nice like i said all these like now that thing is funky i don't know what that is uh but it looks really good and i think this likeness uh to shayling looks amazing look at that face Look at that uh, digital printing. It's beautiful. Gorgeous stuff here. Oh, man, that looks really good. And then Wenwu uh, looks really good as well. I guess I skipped over pick really fast, but really nice stuff. So Marvel Legends, uh, let me go back. Uh, Shang-Chi looking awesome. And then uh, last but not least... NECA today announced uh, the uh, their new clothed figure, and it's the Iron Maiden's Eddie in that whole, like, 1940s World War II uh, motif, like the fighter pilot uh, Aces High, you know, and it looks awesome, man. It really looks awesome. All that cloth looks amazing. So, like, we start out with a clothed figure. We're going to end with a clothed figure. And they both look good. I mean, and this is, like, you know, more than uh, less, more than half uh, the price of Less than half the price of the Ultraman. Uh, obviously, a lot less stuff. But uh, this is really looking good. That HUD sculpt is phenomenal. So 
Very, very nice stuff here from NECA. I do like it a lot. And there you go, guys. That is the Ultra Z News. A lot of cool stuff. But, man, I am so hyped on this Ultraman from Mezco. Go pre-order it. Show them that you're interested. They got the Destroy All Monster stuff happening. They got the uh, Ultraman and uh, Red King happening. Now they have the Ultraman, you know, one twelfth collective. Man, I can't even talk right now. I should have brought some water. Uh, collective figure, and it is jam-packed with stuff. If you don't think 105 bucks isn't a deal for all that you're getting, you are crazy, my friend. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm not saying everybody can afford this, but uh, I'm saying this is a very good deal knowing the quality of of this line and all the effect parts you're getting and all the cape i mean like tamashi has made like separate orders just for these capes and uh this looks phenomenal so there you go that is to me the big news of the day but you got gigan you got the dalion you got the vf1j those are all big things and a lot of cool news on top of that as well so i hope you dug this ultra z news if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.